hosting short-term rentals. So I was really excited to have you join us today. Could you share a bit about your journey and how these different areas were able to kind of intersect together and really um, help you to develop this role as the creative project I just froze. <laughs> Creative project manager at Hills GPO. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Rachel. It is such a pleasure to be on your live show. Um, I also want to thank you just for all of the education that you provide to this industry, because it really means so much to us, especially people who work in the industry and also um, people who have their own short-term and mid-term rentals. So thank you. Um, hello, everyone. I am Jen. Um, like Dr. Rachel said, I am the Creative Projects Manager at Host GPO. And how did we get here? Um, well, Let's rewind. Um, so I was a professional photographer. I photographed high-end weddings and portraiture for about 12 years. And um, I loved it. Photography was my passion. Um, I'm a mom of two. So it worked really well when my kids were younger. But then I slowly started to realize that I was gone every single weekend. And I was missing out on so much family time. And let's just face it, um, working in the wedding industry, um, I was burnt out, you know, um, I don't think people realize like how much a wedding photographer um, goes through on a day to day basis, just dealing with, you know, different personalities and schlepping all of your equipment. And so I knew that there was something else creative out there that I wanted to do. And so um, I ended up ending my photography business and dabbled a little bit in some staging and some um, design work. Um, and in addition to that, I also, um, throughout this whole period, worked at uh, the, with the Williams Sonoma brands. And I was working with their visual and design teams. And that was full-time, sometimes part-time. And I loved it. I loved interacting with people. I loved helping them with, you know, creating these like joyful spaces, spaces that were meaningful. Um, and I always enjoyed like that experience portion of it. So let's fast forward. Um, my husband and I, we had a um, property that we were long-term renting and we were going to sell it so we could invest in a short-term rental that was in a destination location. I'm located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And our short-term rental, while it's in a beautiful, adorable neighborhood, um, it's also not like that destination location of Milwaukee. We're not on Lake Michigan. We're not downtown. And so we really thought that we needed to move our location. The more that I thought about it, I dug into like what I'm really good at, and that is design. And so I ended up uh, two days before we were supposed to put our house on the market, I told my husband, we're not selling. We're going to actually use this space and we're going to create an amazing short-term rental. And that's what we did. And we are super successful. Um, again, we're not in like that downtown location, that lake front location. But what we do have is we really um, have this gorgeous space that's designed to inspire. And that is what sells our guests. And so I know that like you've talked about this in the past, like, you know, you can't move your location, but what you can do is you can really focus on the interiors of your space, the amenities, the experience. And that's what I focused on. And let me tell you, hands down, the best decision we ever made. So that is, okay. So then let's talk about how did I get to host GPO? I became a host, right? I became a host. I needed to buy things. Um, I connected with somebody um, from host GPO at a conference. We totally clicked. Um, little did I know, uh, a few months after that, I would be working for Host GPO. And so here I am um, managing their design program, and I couldn't be happier. I absolutely love your story. And um, and I'm going to kind of go you know, off the reservation a little bit. So what was that thing, Jen? What was that aha moment when you realized, you know what? I don't want to sell this house. I want to rent it out as a short-term rental, despite the fact that it wasn't in a destination location. What were some clues that you detected when you were doing a little bit of that research? Yeah, so absolutely. Um, first of all, I was at a short-term rental woman summit and I connected with a group of women who were also hosts. And this is just, we just started talking and I um, explain to them like what I was doing and why I was there. And um, I was doing design on the side at that point, which is why I was there. And so 
I connected with a woman and she was like, why are you selling? Like you're, you're incredibly creative. You know, that like you have the space. Um, this house was the home that my husband and I lived in for 12 years. So we renovated it from top to bottom. It was totally like this beautiful, inspiring style. Um, everything was done. Uh, all we had to do was furnish it. And so it was that haha moment where I'm like, you know what? You're right. It's an adorable um, ranch, like a beautiful land and stone ranch. It has a ton of character. I'm actually there right now. A ton of character. Um, it was a great open layout. Um, it could accommodate the guests that we wanted to have here. Beautiful backyard. But most importantly, it was in a neighborhood that we truly loved and we believed in. And so I knew that bringing people into this neighborhood was really important because they can see this beauty of Milwaukee and they can see like everything that we have here, which is not downtown by the lake. I love that. And so it, sometimes it takes someone else to see the value in something that you may be holding on to. And I know there are a lot of listeners listening today who may have a property, who may think, you know, the default is just to sell it. But that one conversation you had because you were networking in the right places, that one conversation probably bought tens of thousands of dollars into your bank account. And it sometimes just takes one really um, good conversation and, and being in the right place and networking with the right people who actually kind of care and, you know, they see an opportunity and they don't want you to miss out on it either. So I love that. Well, and I also think to, you know, just, you know, to what you're saying, networking with like-minded people, like mm. this industry, while it's growing so quickly, it's still really tightly knit. And so that is so important. And again, whether you're going to a summit, you're going to a retreat, you're going to a conference, like for me, hands down, it's networking that's so important because at the end of the day, those are the people that I can turn to if I need help. So good. And you highlighted something. I don't want the audience to miss it. Sometimes when we go to these summits, it's for the speakers, but guess what? It's that gal or guy sitting next to you that might drop that gem, right? That's life-changing. Totally. So it's not always about the speakers, right? It's about those who are actually there in attendance because they were drawn to that specific event for a reason. They are your like-minded minded counterparts. So I absolutely love that. All right, so let's fast forward a little bit. What is Host GPO, Jen? Yeah, great question. Mm -hmm. So Host GPO is a group purchasing organization for the short-term rental. So think of this as like a buying club to buy things like mattresses, linens, furniture, amenities, but at a discount, right? So basically what we've done is we've taken this collective buying power and we've negotiated the very best prices in the industry. You're not going to find better prices with any of our vendors in this industry period. Um, in addition to that, what we've done is we have um, really selected uh, vendors that are tried and true. The majority of us at Host GPO are hosts ourselves, or we've worked in the industry. So it's really not, um, we're not looking to like throw hundreds of vendors your way because that's not setting you up for success, especially if you're new to this industry. What we've done is we've basically gone in and picked out those vendors that we know that we're going to set our members up for success. And so we've basically created these partnerships with them. Um, so again, you know, if you're purchasing for a few things for your home and you have a short-term rental, or you're literally furnishing an entire house, Host GPO will definitely save you money and time. I love that. So with your extensive experience with identifying these top vendors, I know you work with Williams-Sonoma Pottery Barn uh, brands, and um, with us wanting to design, whether it's our midterm rental or a vacation rental, how important is it, Jen, that we invest in quality furniture for really creating that unforgettable experience? Can't we just do it with cheap furniture and just try to hack it? <laughs> Well, if you want to spend more money in the end and more time in the end, sure, go that route. But I don't think any of us want to do that. 
It's so important. You know, buying quality furniture, contract grade pieces of furniture, contract grade pieces of furniture are furniture that are made to withstand the wear and tear. So, you know, you go to a hotel, you go to a hospital, a restaurant, that's all contract grade pieces of furniture. They're not changing their furniture out every year. They're buying and they're investing in those pieces because they know that they're going to last. Because you know, once you change out a piece of furniture, you also then have to hire your photographer to come back in and re-photograph your space, which is the going to cost you more money. So at the very beginning, invest in pieces that are quality, but also photograph really beautifully. I can tell if you put a piece of a quality uh, piece of furniture in front of me, and you put a piece of furniture that maybe is from Amazon or Wayfair, and I'm not knocking Amazon or Wayfair because I use them for many things, I'm going to be able to tell the difference. And so can your guests. And they want comfort and you want to accommodate them. So again, Definitely buy once, not twice. I love that. And so you mentioned something, you know, um, that you do leverage other vendors to fill in some specific pieces or, you know, some tools, whatever that may be. So could you enlighten us a little bit? What types of furniture pieces tend to photograph well um, and, and tend to really elevate the space? What are some things that we need to be you know, looking at, is it my dining wear, my play sets? Because I really want our members in our community to walk away with some actionable tips so that yeah. they can start looking at their properties a little bit differently. So would you mind enlightening us? Yeah, that's a great question. And one word that you mentioned, again, I think about all the time when I'm designing, elevating your property. Because when we elevate our property, in return, we make more revenue, right? And so you want those pieces that are going to elevate it. So think about, you know, um, I, I like to call them the high traffic area pieces. So when you're buying, you know, construction grade, commercial grade, or quality pieces of furniture, think about the pieces that are touched the most. So you have your dining table, your dining chairs, you know, your anything that you're sitting on. So your sofas, your chairs, your beds. A lot of people like to get a cheaper bed frame because they think that it's going to save them. But in the long run, it's not going to photograph well. And let's just face it. We know what goes on in those beds. Like you don't want to be breaking <laughs> on your guests, right? Um, and also your end tables too. Let's not chintz out on like your end tables because again, that's all part of your design. And so when you're looking for those pieces, um, what I typically like to do is um, I like to do uh, fabrics that are performance grade fabrics. So a lot of times if you're ordering performance grade fabrics and you need something quickly, you're likely not able to get something that's like a bold color or maybe a bold print, they're usually going to be a little bit more of a neutral color. And I'm totally okay with that because you can add in those prints and those textures and those different fabrics with other things like your throw pillows, your um, accessories, your rugs, um, throws for the sofa as well. So think about those core pieces. Like it's okay. You don't have to go all out and buy like a mustard yellow sofa from the very beginning because you feel like that's going to entice your guests to rent your property. It possibly will, but really focus on getting those quality pieces and then bringing in those colors and those textures with the other items as well. Um, also think about where are your guests going to spend the most of their time? So is your home geared towards families and you have this really great living area that has this beautiful sectional sofa? That's where you want to allocate a lot of your budget, right? So you really want to focus on that space. So maybe you want to buy, you know, a nicer sofa. Maybe you want to buy, you know, some, add some like floor poofs for people to sit on, you know, especially if you have, you know, a home that seats a lot of people. So, or sleeps a lot of people, I should say. Um, so really think about that as well. So um, again, you know, just making sure that you're putting your money where your guests are really going to enjoy themselves. I love that. And so you mentioned a couple of um, stores, and I know I mentioned a couple of stores um, in terms of those vendors that you um, pretty much handpicked out, you know, the host GPO family handpicked out for uh, us as short term rental and mid term rental hosts. Could you tell us a little bit about some of your favorite uh, stores within the host oh GPO goodness. family? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Um, so we have this core collection in partnership with West Elm. 
West Elm has amazing pieces, you guys, and they're, they're quality pieces, right? But I also love like their style. They're like mid-century modern, but they throw in some traditional in there. They have some like bold colors and patterns. So we have a part or we have a collaboration with them. And so let me just say that the discount that you get on this core collection is better than the employee discount that you get at Williams-Sonoma. It's phenomenal. So number one, my, my go-to anytime I'm designing is going to be looking at that core collection. What can we get for our members to number one, help them elevate their property, but number two, help them save on their budget. My second one as a host, hands down standard textile. So for those of you that are not familiar with standard textile, they're a hospitality textile company. So you think, you know, linens, your sheet sets, your towels, um, I personally originally bought all of my sheet sets from Amazon because they had amazing reviews. Three months into hosting, they started killing. And I'm like, what is going on? I reached out to the company and I'm guessing this happens with them often. And they asked me how often I was washing my sheet sets. And I was like, I don't know, two to three times a week. And they were like, no, like we're not a commercial grade sheet company. And so that was like a huge aha moment. Like I followed like the reviews I thought he was doing the right thing, but in reality, I probably should have been going to a commercial grade um, textile company. So the thing I love about standard textile is they have everything from basic to luxe. Like if you've stayed at a Hilton, a Hyatt, a Marriott, a Ritz-Carlton, you slept on their sheet sets and you've used their towels. Um, you can't buy bulk. The general public can't just go and buy bulk from them. What we can do is we can make sure that we set you up with case goods to get you a huge discount as well. So when you hop onto our portal, they have a lot to offer and it is super overwhelming. Like it is. And so what we do is we actually connect you with one of their representatives. They're going to take the time to chat with you about what it is that you're looking for. What are your needs for the property? What are your wants for the property? But the most important thing that they're going to do is they're going to send you full size samples. They want you to use those samples before you invest. And that right there is huge. So again, love standard textile. I have standard textile in my short-term rental, my favorite. Um, okay, Miranda two. I, I mean, we could talk all day, but maybe I'll just say a few more. So um, Helix Sleep is another one. You guys, if you're looking for mattresses, um, we honestly have members that become um, members with host GPO just for the mattress discount. So Helix Sleep has this amazing hospitality mattress that I personally own in my primary home. Um, it is not available to the general public. It is only available with host GPO. And the beautiful thing about this mattress is that it is hands down the best quality that you can get at this price point. So just to give you an idea, um, a queen size mattress retails for $10.99. You get it for $3.79, like free shipping, 10 year warranty. It's a beautiful, like medium, uh, firm mattress. Love it. So, um, again, love Helix sleep. But in addition to that, a lot of our members, um, especially if they're having a midterm rental, they want more of a luxury mattress in their primary bedroom. And so that's when I would really suggest going with the Helix Lux line, which we get, we get in a phenomenal discount on it. So um, again, Helix, and they've also won so many amazing awards recently about like having the best mattresses. Um, I also love Rugs USA. Rugs USA, um, phenomenal discount again. And in addition to that, um, don't get me wrong, I love a good 100% wool rug. I love a Persian rug. Um, but to put those in a short term rental and then have to pay to clean them, it's going to get really expensive, not to mention a huge hassle. And so I highly recommend utilizing Rugs USA at this phenomenal discount, you can get a lot of very similar rugs at a fraction of the price. And we all know that that is the one thing that we're changing up the most, right? Because it's getting so much foot traffic. So let's go ahead and, and like, let's replace it for a fraction of the price. Another thing that people don't know about Rugs USA, they have lighting. Like they have amazing lighting. And we get a huge discount on it. Lighting that is very similar to some of the other like higher end brands that we have. They also carry really cool um, like hoops and some accessories as well. So again, that's another favorite. 
I'm going to do one more. Do I have time for one more? <laughs> um, yes. article. You are I love article. Down. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, article. I've always loved article, even oh, yeah. before they were a partner with host GPO. Um, they have, first of all, their logistics are amazing. Um, their customer service is probably some of the best I've ever experienced working in the design field. What I love about Article is that we get a substantial discount, but they allow you to stack it on their discounts. And so that's what I love because you get this, right? So they have these like amazing, like Memorial Day sale, Labor Day sale, Fourth of July, like, like, there's all these sales and then you can get our discount on top of it. But one thing that I love about Article specifically is they have um, a chair that I use in a lot of my designs. And that is because it comes in several different colors. It is um, like a very comfortable, like hard plastic, but it's very sleek looking. It's called the Selty chair. Um, and it's a fraction of the price that you're gonna pay for any other chair that's out there. But what I love about it is it adds a little bit of like pizzazz to your, your room, right? So you have a dining table and then you have these beautiful like dark blue chairs. It comes in like turquoise and, and greens. And I mean, there's so many colors. So definitely if you guys haven't checked them out already, um, take a look at those chairs. If you're looking for a good quality dining chair, I personally have these dining chairs in my primary home. So that says a lot. Wow. Okay. I, I just made a note to myself once the recording stops, so I can ask you about these chairs because I actually need <laughs> some dining chairs. <laughs> so when you said you use it in your personal house, I was like, okay, that's confirmation that we're yeah. having the right direction. We're heading in the right direction. So I love that. Okay. So I'm really excited about um, this, the vendors that you just shared with us and the whole stackable, you know, discounts, I think it's amazing. I used to be a couponer in uh, uh, another life. <laughs> so when I hear that, it's like, oh, my spidey senses are going off. So that is yeah. absolutely awesome. Okay. so. Let's talk about some things that you have seen out <laughs> in the STR marketplace. So from your experience, what are some common mistakes that you see short-term rental hosts are doing in terms of designing their short-term rental space? And give us some pointers on how to avoid them. Yeah, honestly, I think one of the biggest um, mistakes that I see out there is that people are designing um, and they're not designing to accommodate all of their guests. So if you have a home that sleeps eight, where are they sitting in your home? Um, you know, does your living room comfortably seat eight people? Does your dining table seat eight people? If it doesn't seat eight people and there maybe isn't space for eight people, how are you getting creative in order to create that space for them to eat in? You know, do you have, you know, maybe like, maybe you can have a larger table, but it, it's going to look really cramped with eight chairs around it. Could you maybe take two of those chairs and use them as like chairs and like the, the bedrooms for like a corner chair or a desk chair? Um, you know, do you maybe, could you do like a bench in like one of the areas of the home and then pull it up to the table? Do you have an island? And if you do have an island, what type of chairs do you have on your island? Are they really wide with like big backs? Because if they are and you don't have space for all of your guests, that's probably the wrong chair. You're not choosing the right chair for that space. You need to choose choose something that's a little bit more of a narrow footprint so you can add more things in there. Um, also, again, with midterm rentals, um, even short-term rentals that I've stayed in, the kitchen. Don't skimp on the kitchen accessories. You want people to feel comfortable in your space. You want to accommodate them. You have no idea why they're coming to their home. They may be coming to your home to visit family that they haven't seen in years, and they want to cook them this beautiful dinner. Do you have everything in your home to accommodate that, especially in a midterm rental? Um, again, what, what do you have in your midterm rental? Do you have a blender? Do you have, you know, an ice cream scoop? Do you have a crock pot? I mean, these are all little things that are not going to break the bank, but at the end of the day, what they're going to do is they're going to set that experience for your guest. And that also brings me to another point that I want to make with host GPO. We again, have seen this time and time again. And so we have spent countless number of hours putting together these host boxes. We have a kitchen box. And so it's in partnership with Williams-Sonoma. 
basically what you can do is you can hop on to our portal. You can add this kitchen box to your cart. We have two kitchen boxes. We have a standard and then we also have a chef. So in the chef kitchen box, we have like, um, there's things like, um, like an upgraded blender, um, maybe some cast iron pans, like things like you typically wouldn't see in like a standard kitchen. But the beauty behind this is that you add it to your cart, boom, done. Everything is there for you. We have thought literally of everything. But what I love about it is that you can customize it. So if you're like, I know that I get my dinnerware from, you know, this retailer and that's what I want, you can take that off. Or if you want to add more dinnerware, more glassware, more flatware, more platters, you can do that. Um, so again, it just makes it really, really easy for our members who are hosting because that's what we're here. We want to make this as easy as possible for you. This is your one-stop shop. I love it. And the ROE, it's the ROE for me to the return on energy <laughs> and the return on effort. Uh, because I remember when I first started my very first property, when I launched it, I was hunting and pecking everywhere for everything. And if someone could do a time study on me, uh, during that time, that pre-launch time, oh my goodness, Jen, it must've been just an incredible amount of hours, 24 hour days, just hunting and pecking and shopping around. And so as soon as I saw those boxes that you created on host GPO, to me, that's a whole life hack that falls into the category of, I just hacked my life, you know? And, and I think it's amazing because you tend to forget certain things, you know, unless you have a really dialed in checklist, you, you have the towels, but you have the washcloth, but what about the hand towels? The, oh no, I have to now go back for the hand towels. And what host GPO has figured out is depending on the guest count, the number of bathrooms, everything is in there, the right amount of towels, you know, the, the large um, bath towels, the right amount of hand towels, the right amount of washcloths to just eliminate some of that. Um, I would call it brain real estate that you need to use up to figure out, okay, how many, you know, so I, I think that's one of the biggest hacks, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you know, just a lot to of your people point. doing something like that, which I think is amazing. Yeah, you know, and just to your point too, um, people who are setting up short-term rentals, mid-term rentals for the first time, they don't have any idea how much time and effort goes into it, and and we don't expect them to, right? Um, little things. I mean, what do you do with all your boxes? Like all of the stuff that is being delivered to your house, you know, and depending on where your location is, you may not have easy access to a dumpster that large. So that's one of the things with the design program that we have. Um, we can actually consolidate your order. So we have a partnership with the Williams Sonoma brands. And so basically you come in, I get all of your information from you. Um, and then we, they go ahead and take care of the design portion of it, but then you can consolidate it as well, which is also really important for people who don't live in the same city or state as their short-term rental. But with that consolidation, guess what? they'll take away all the packaging for you. They'll take everything out of the packages for you, which is so key. Um, and then our team will help you like fill in those things like, you know, maybe Rugs USA, maybe we're gonna get you like, you know, mattresses and we're gonna do um, textiles for you, um, which again, we don't expect you to get every single thing from the Williams-Sonoma brand, but you can get a really big portion of it. And that's what I love as well. Just thinking about like that time saving and like, how valuable is your time? You know, um, I would love to place an order and be hands off. And that's what we provide. Yeah, I love that. And I know we're talking about the ROE, return on energy, but the ROI, if you can speak to that too, because I know we glossed over a little bit in the beginning. Uh, the number one question I get asked, Jen, is, and I'm sure you get asked the same question, well, how much to furnish a one bedroom? How much to furnish a five bedroom? And so that's a very general question. And I know it's loaded, um, but as far as furnishing it with these quality um, you know, materials and quality uh, furnishings, what would you say are some rules of thumb in terms of uh, that investment? What would that look like for someone who's brand new? Uh, they're mapping out their budget. They've got their down payment for their property and they're looking to purchase, but they want a realistic uh, view of how much it would cost to furnish. Yeah. 
I'm really glad that you brought it up. That's a really great question. And that, again, is what we help. We help educate these hosts that are coming to us to go through the design program because, again, we want to set them up for success. I don't want somebody to come in and say, you know, I have a four-bedroom home and I think I can, uh, you know, furnish it for $15,000 with these brands. It's just not going to happen. And I would never send somebody through the program knowing that. So what I am going to do is I'm going to educate them. And I'm also going to explain to them, like you said, like the ROI, like what can they expect on this? So rule of thumb, really, if you're looking for, uh, let's just say like the Williams Sonoma brand. So, you know, that's a price point is, you know, mid range to higher. Um, you're looking at probably around $20 a square foot. So anywhere from like, I would say 18 to $20 a square foot. Can you furnish your home for less than that? Absolutely, you can. And that's also where we come in and help you fill in some of those gaps with our other partners. I think realistically, you're looking at more like anywhere from $15 to $20 a square foot. I think if you're in that range, you're sitting really well. Now, if you have a home where you're putting every single amenity you possibly can think of, you're doing super high end, you're throwing up wallpaper, which is going to cost money. It's going to be more than $20 a square foot, especially if you're paying for somebody um, to come in and do the installation for you. But really, again, take a look at that, like $15 to $20 a square foot. Now let's talk about ROI though, because this is really important because a lot of members come to us and they're like, okay, so I'm going to invest you know, say $40,000 in this, you know, home that's, you know, 2000, 2000 square feet. Like why, why should I do this? Who's tell, why, you know, why are you telling me to put this amount of money in? Like, why can't I do it for less? Well, at the end of the day, your listing most likely isn't going to be elevated and it's not going to stand out. Um, one thing that I think about all the time is going to a restaurant. Like I, I, I love being surrounded by beauty. I love being surrounded by things that are inspiring, um, you know, and so going to a restaurant that has amazing food, you're going to go there, right? Um, if you have out of town guests and you really want to wow them and it has this amazing atmosphere on top of this amazing food, it's a no brainer. People are going to go there. They're going to photograph it. They're going to post it. It's going to go onto social media. Think of that as your short-term rental. You want people to feel inspired. You want to buy quality pieces of furniture. Um, typically, what we've seen is if you've invested at the beginning and you've put the time and effort into professionally designing a home or even just designing it and really just having it stand out, you're going to you're going to get at least 20 to 30 percent more revenue per year than you would if you would have just thrown in, you know, pieces of furniture that maybe were handed down to you and some of those like Wayfair or Amazon pieces. You are. I love this. And I know that we're coming to a close, but you just um highlighted something for me that I have been running into. So there is a um I would say an interesting uh, environment right now with the real estate cycle and uh, quite a few of our members, like the last three or four of our members closed on properties, Jen, where uh, the furnishings were included and they were being touted as, oh, the furnishings are included or we're going to charge more because the furnishings are included. I was like, hold the brakes, baby, because <laughs> yes. one, we need to inspect said yeah. furnishings. And I would tell you, unfortunately, um, I would say seven out of 10 times, I actually ask for a reduction in the, in the price, because if you're expecting me to haul all of these furnishings out, which are not in the greatest condition and like very poor condition, it's no longer an asset, it's a liability. Can you talk to us a little bit about what you've seen? Is it, is it a hoax that I'm seeing all of these properties and the furnishings are just not in great condition? Not, you know, nothing that I would want to host with. What are your thoughts, Jen? Well, there's probably a reason why they're selling number one, and they're selling that property with the furniture being included. They weren't successful. And there's a reason for that. It could be the furniture. It could be their management style. But at the end of the day, they weren't happy and they don't want this furniture. So if if they're selling it with the furniture, why, why would you buy a home with upgrades you don't love? You know, you're not going to. So why would you buy, why would you buy a short-term rental with furniture you don't like? And like you said, then have to deal with getting rid of it. 
No, pick and choose what you want. Go through that home. If you like that end table and you know that you can make it work, then go ahead and put that, you know, add that to your offer. But like you said, do not take all of this furniture thinking that it's included because you're paying for it. Yes. And sometimes you're paying for it more than one way. If you (laughs) accept a higher asking price, you're paying for it. Now you need to order a dumpster and order, you know, people to help offload all of these furnishings. Now you're paying for it twice. And so uh, be very cautious. It's kind of a cautionary tale. Don't just take the fact that it's turnkey. Um, You know, don't take it at face value. You must inspect. You must inspect. So for sure. Absolutely. Uh, Okay. So it's not a hoax. You've seen it too. All right. So our listeners, Jen, we have a variety of listeners. You know, we have medical professionals who are looking to tap in other busy professionals. We've attracted quite a few in our audience because we want to continue to provide the value, provide, you know, the education. So for those who are looking to shift their focus on um, from full time medicine and they want to go all in on short term rentals and midterm rentals, they may be a little bit, you know, nervous. What, what would you say to them from your perspective? And the reason I ask this is because I find a ton of value uh, in speaking with those that are serving uh, our audience, you know, whether it's, you know, my top cleaner, she knows more about the house, the neighborhood, the neighbors than I do. And so you just never know where you can glean some value. So I'm, I'm just tapping on your shoulder and based on what you're seeing as you're working with clients, you know, what is your take and the sentiment of the current uh, real estate cycle? Yeah. So if you're getting into this for the very first time, and obviously this is completely new to you, network. It, it's the most important thing that you can do. Join groups like the short-term gems, join groups like host GPO, because not only are you going to get valuable information from them, you're also going to be able to connect with more people that's in the industry. And that's powerful. You know, we are more powerful as a group versus as a standalone. And so you really want to tap into that. Um, In addition to that, there is so much education out there that's free. You know, like, I mean, we have this live going on right now, right? For your, for your Facebook group. Um, You know, you can, you know, definitely, again, connect with like local networking, short-term rentals, but I can't praise enough about networking in general. Um, Number two, really take a look at what you're offering your, your guest. You know, are you doing this just to make a quick few dollars? Because if you are, it's really honestly, probably not the, the, the best industry for you. Do you care about your guests? Are you setting them up for an amazing experience? Are you accommodating them? Do you care about the pieces that you're purchasing from you for your home? Do you care about your neighbors? That's also really important. So again, really focus on what is it that you're offering them, but also connect with all of the um, the networking groups that you can connect with as well, because hands down, I think that you're going to get the most out of that. I love it. Um, and you're, you're even talking about hosting in a sustainable way, which I absolutely love. All right. So last but not least, Jen, all of our listeners would love to learn more about host GPO. I already know it. I'm calling it, I'm manifesting that because you guys are just absolutely amazing. So could you let the community know how they can get in touch with you? I will be sharing our link, um, but I really love what you all are doing on social and all the cute little (laughs) skits as well. So let the community know where to find you in all the places. And then I'll go ahead and and link it up for them as well. Yeah, absolutely. So you can find us at at host, H-O-S-T-G-P-O. Um, you can find us on social media. Um, so that's Instagram. We have uh, Facebook. Um, again, it's all at host GPO. In addition to that, you can go to our website, hostgpo.com. Um, that's where you can actually sign up if you're not already a member. And we can get you started with a trial membership. So you can really just see what we're all about. And then also, if anyone is just interested in reaching out to me, I love helping people all the time. So um, I can give you my email address if that works. Um, so it's jen, J-E-N dot S at hostgpo.com. 
Awesome. I love that. And I will link that email as well, Jen. I thank you so very much. And guys, this has been really incredibly enlightening. I feel as though, although we speak (laughs) every now and then, Jen, I learn something new every single time. So thank you for the amazing conversation. And I, I feel like it's clear from our discussion that not only is design a science, but there's an art to it as well. And so if we can create an experience for our guests, if we think about all the details, if we have them in mind, we're going to provide a really elevated and a high quality space for them. And it comes from, you know, having the high quality furnishings to create that high quality uh, design. So Jen, your journey has been nothing short of amazing from photography uh, to short-term rentals, to working at Host GPO and helping us to have these vendors to select. I think it's very, very powerful. And I think it's a testament of really um, uh, something that we all are trying to do in terms of finding that work-life balance. You mentioned in the very beginning that you, you know, saw that the wedding photography was taking away from Um, that family time. And I know our members could appreciate that. You know what? I may need to reposition myself uh, in one way, shape or another. And so I just want to continue to encourage our audience to continue to look for opportunities because I think it's absolutely amazing. But before we sign off, I do want to say an extra, extra special thank you uh, to Host GPO. Host GPO will be sponsoring us for our midterm rental wealth retreat. We're going to be in beautiful Park City, Utah, and we will be sharing gems regarding uh, midterm rentals, uh, the design of midterm rentals, the types of guests that we want to host to not only get the ROI, but the ROE. And so I'm just so grateful for Host GPO's ongoing support. I've been working with you guys for four years now, just about maybe three or four years now. And so, yeah, you guys just have been such an inspiration. I see the way you continue to position, um, you know, the tools inside of Host GPO to ensure that we have what we need as hosts. So thank you for for the commitment, for um, always wanting to educate Uh, our community, our community is committed to learning so that they can take action, right? And so I'm so, so grateful. Thank you. Thank you to you. Thank you for your support. Um, And I know that the listeners are going to appreciate uh, connecting with you. So thank you, Jen. And I'll see you next time. See you in Park City. (laughs) Thank you. Bye-bye.